Hello everybody, this is the Gamer128 from YouTube, and I'm going to teach you how to solve a 4x4x4 four by four by four Rubik's Cube. Now, I'm not showing you how to solve a 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube, because, well, I would think that you'd know it by now if you're trying to encounter this bigger challenge. But, you do need to know how to solve a 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube in order, to, in order to solve this. So if you don't know how to solve the regular one, I need you to go ahead and look for a tutorial for the 3x3. Three three. Learn it and come back. But if you do, then you're ready to know how to solve this. Now, I need you to take out pencil and paper, take some notes, because there's no way that you're going to have the computer all to yourself for a week, because you might have to look at this video over and over again. I'd advise you that you take notes instead so no one gets mad at you. <laughs> um, and the 3x3 three three has fixed centers. That's explained in thousands of tutorials throughout the world on how to solve the original cube. The centers on these are different. Okay? So, what we're going to need to do is show you how the centers are different. You see how this is the white center? Well, we can make it not the white center. Not the white center anymore. Now it is. You can mix up the centers however you'd like, which is why you need to solve them in the right place, and you also need to know how to match up the sides. Think about it though, this is like a 3x3. Three three. This would be the center. One, two, three, for the side cubes and the corner cubes. A lot like a 3x3 three three whenever you get it to where you need it to be. Okay. Here are the notations. Um, If you know how to solve a 3x3, three three, you would know what notations are, but there are new ones. First thing I need to review with you would be the regular movements. For example, this cube, R, which is right, clockwise. It's the same thing, just one side though. Okay, if it's just a regular capital letter, nothing else, just do that. Now, in 3 by 3s usually you would see inverted, with, which is noted with a lowercase i. Sometimes you might see an apostrophe and you're wondering what that is. That's known as prime, and it's the same exact thing as inverted. For example, if I were to say R prime, capital R prime, Capital R's and capital L's are just going to be known as R's and L's from now on. And L prime, up prime, it's just counterclockwise. It's the same exact thing. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Alright. So, now we need to go over two new movements. Which would be star movement and lowercase movement. First one is star movement, which... In order to understand it, star means you're moving both ledges. For example, if I were to say up star, counter no, not counterclockwise, clockwise, because I just said up, I didn't say up prime. Up star, you would move both of the up wedges to the clockwise direction. If I said you can have up prime star, you can have the three of those at once. Very simple to understand. Just make sure you write it down. Now, one last thing. The lowercase movement. If I were to say little r, it's just going to be known as little, not lowercase. If I were to say little r, you would move the middle right ledge clockwise. <coughs> like so. You just have to move this one back. But, you see how I did that? Now, you can still have little l prime, which is counterclockwise. Bring that back. See? And there you go. Those are the notations. Now, we are ready to learn how to solve 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube. Three things. Three things you need. The notations you just watched. Pencil and paper for a lot of more notes. Believe me, a lot of more notes. And common sense. Because without it, you're doomed. Let's scramble it up. Sorry, this might take a while.
I've got a bad camera. I can't really pause it in the middle like I could my other one. That's good. Alright. It's scrambled. Yeah, now it's scrambled. Not bad. Alright. We're scrambled. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is solve the green center. We're just going to start with the green because that's what everyone else starts with. Now, whenever you get advanced, you're going to try to look for the center with the most pieces solved already. Now, we're going to use common sense. All we're doing is solving this little green square. Okay, this four, this two by two square. You just have to use common sense. You just have to line them up like so. Just use the little common sense you have. Just kidding. And there you go. You have the green center solved. Now, make the green center. Go to the bottom. Alright? Got the bottom. Now, what you need to do is you need to make sure that there's no, no blues on the top. Alright? We're going to pretend there are. Okay? There's blues on top. How do you get them to the bottom? Well, you're going to use something called a center algorithm. Now, the center algorithm is used to solve all of the centers. Once you're done solving the centers, you don't need it anymore unless you make mistakes, which we hope you don't, because you're taking notes. Now, there are two versions of the center algorithm, okay? The first one is for the right side. Make sure to write this down. R star, 2 up, R prime star. Oh yeah, I forgot. Over there to the right, yeah. All the algorithms should be there. If not, I'm still just going to repeat them in the video. And the other version, which is the backwards version. L prime star, 2 up, L star. We're all happy. No blues on that side. Now what we have to do is, whenever this is on the bottom, we're trying to get two blues lined up vertically like this. Use the center algorithm to get them up. Just use the common sense that you have, okay? Now, think. You're trying to get this up here. So, you're going to use the left version. L prime star, 2 up, L star. It's up there. Now, what you need to do is do that, like this. And there, you have two more verticals. Oh, yeah, I forgot to note you that whenever you're moving... When solving the centers, you can move these pieces all you want. Okay? You can move just regular letters like R and up and whatever you feel like doing. Just no stars or lower cases for now. The only time you should need them are for the center algorithm. Now, whenever you're solving the blue center, you need to know that if you that if all you do is this, if you just try to do the common sense from last time, whoa, that's messed up. So what you have to do is perform the center algorithm. Now make sure that these two are lined up right here. Okay? These two blues, they're lined up. So perform the center algorithm. R star, 2 up, R prime star. Blue, green. Yay, we're done with the two opposite centers. Okay? Now, next we have to line up vertical lines whenever the solved centers are on the sides. For example, this is a perfect example right here. We're trying to get all colors like this. We're not trying to get all oranges, yet we're not trying to mix everything up. We're, tr we're trying to get two two by one sections of the cube that are going vertical, up and down, like this. You'd have to turn that like that. Now, there are some ways where... Uh, yeah. Some versions where... You have to just configure with the cube a little bit. But, hope you'll get it. <laughs> Alright. Let's say that you have something like this. Where the white cubes are like that. Okay? They're mirrored. You can just perform the center algorithm. And bam. You're there. You keep doing that. Ooh. Until you get them all lined up. Um, next video, I'm just going to tell you how to line up and solve the centers. See ya.